E E R E. It's about the toys. If you are a new subscriber, text new subscriber in the comment section below and I will give you a shout out during the next main episode. Thank you. Now on to the show. Welcome to another episode of English Ed Reviews Everything. I'm your host and everyone's favorite flatmate, Lucky English Ed. And today is Show and Tell Thursdays. What is this? Episode 10. Yes, episode 10, I believe. Uh... Yeah, episode 10. Just had to triple check in my head real quick. Uh, and today we're taking a look at, yeah, Iron Grenadier's Cobra Metalhead. Why they put Cobra in front of Metalhead, I guess they didn't own the trademark to that name anymore. But, uh, yeah, I've heard a lot of great things, a few bad things about this figure. And just by looking at the packaging, I can tell everything I heard that was bad is accurate. But, there is more than enough good that outweighs the bad that still makes this a really good, not great, good figure. So, taking a look at this packaging, I think I finally got the lighting issues good, um, right. Uh, I'm not really sure. Please let me know in the comment section below if my lighting is has improved. In addition to that, people, we are just a few hundred subscribers away from hitting 2k that was not intentional but it rhymed bars and please hit that like button that subscribe button share with a friend let them know that you've been enjoying my brand of entertainment it means a lot to me and it's completely free so thanking you in advance thanks a lot so looking at this figure um i gotta admit this whole front thing going on here I'm loving everything about the front the the artwork on metalhead the graphics here how the items inside the packaging is displayed uh, the same let's back it up a little bit the same artwork on the side is also on the front this right here looks absolutely stunning and beautiful there, there's no two ways around it this is an awesome display right here taking it around to the side we have a lot of good things going on here we have a level four in i don't know what any of this shit means to be to be honest with you so i'm just gonna make things up as i go along he has a level four in shooting rockets a level three in dropping bombs i guess he had that burrito for lunch a level three in helmets that makes no sense and a level what is that? One or two? A level two in laptoping? Yes, that's what I'm going with. A level two in laptoping. So, now that we've taken a look at all this jazz here, let's take a look at what's inside. So, through the power of editing. And now that we've gotten him out of his plastic prison. Let's take a look at this figure up close. Now, I am really liking it. Uh, I have not seen this buck on any other figure. So, unless I'm woefully wrong, this is a brand new buck, which is awesome. I'm, I'm liking how his arms can go almost completely down to his at his sides for some reason it won't do it on this side uh yeah he looks really good his hair piece comes off got that crazy cool mullet uh taking a look at his head though you notice there's like four sections where his head was scooped out kind of like in the FNAF series it was just scooped I believe they did this to save plastic because I don't think it, it was ne it's necessary to scoop out this much plastic from different sides of his head no I, I don't think that was necessary let's see if I could yeah yeah that's what happened there they they just wanted to save one plastic 
Uh, he has a nice sheath there, some sort of mouth guard up top. You got the pegs for his side rockets. This whole back exoskeleton apparatus like thing just looks really cool. Really, the only thing Hasbro is not doing as of lately is making their their body armor, their chest armors removable like Valiverse. Uh, I like, I really like the deco, the red laces. Yeah, <laughs> that that kind of reminds me of my one of my favorite uh, Tech Nine r rhymes. He says, um, something. Uh, he says, red laces and boot, red laces and booted like I'm a rack bound. So relax, pal, or I might react foul. That's a really cool verse. And I, I really like how they put the deco in it. Um, yeah, his articulation is standard for males. He can, he even has a little bit of ab crunch with his um his chest on body armor on. Not much, but enough to be okay with. So let's just um start popping out his uh accessories. See if I can get him standing still. Cause he he wants to lean back for some reason. Let's get him up close to the camera. Uh, let's start with let's start with the helmets. So we've seen, yeah. It's the same thing twice. It's the exact same hairpiece twice. The only difference is that these shades are there. So they just took this head and molded on some goggles goggles, and said, yeah, that's good enough. They could have at least molded his hair in a different direction. Maybe having it swoosh the other way. I mean, that would have made sense. But... These days, Hasbro doesn't like to make sense. For some reason, they, they like to do everything but what the customer wants. Now, this is... That's funny. Inside, it's hard to see. Let's see, let's see if we can get this on camera. And, yeah, okay, so the carpet just ate that. So we're gonna try it with this. I'm, I'm not even gonna even go looking for it. It's it's gone. It's gone forever. Inside, it's like tabs for the scooped out portions, but on the actual helmet, it's just a straight helmet. So it's like, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, take a look at that up close. That's awesome. I'm loving this helmet more than the hair pieces. This helmet is dope. It's like Roman Trojan in the front and got a like a Japanese samurai motif in the back. See if we can get that. It's hard to see it for some reason. But this helmet is making me... It's making me want to definitely go out and get, um... Carrick. From the Valiverse, um, series. Because he wears a similar helmet, a, um, um, what are, who are they? They were the Spartans. He, he wears a Spartan-like, um, helmet. And this is very reminiscent of that. I'm, I'm really liking everything about this so far. So let's put him back. Um, you saw his regular wig. The carpet ate that. I'm never gonna see it again. 
hurt. Just ended my finger. So these are the two. Rocket launches that sits on his um sides side of his legs. Let's take a look. I'm not sure what directions these are supposed to be facing. I think it's supposed to go like yeah, it's supposed to go like this. Hmm. At least I think it's supposed to go like that. Oh no, 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 we can't have that. We're just twisting. It, it mm -mm. that's not good. So if I want, I thought it was gonna be loose to where it can just do like this. I thought it was gonna be loose enough to where it can easily rotate and maneuver. It's not. The plastic doesn't do that. So it's pretty much once you stick them on, stick them on in, in the right way, or we're gonna have a problem later. That's really odd. Not a fan of that. Let me pop these out. We've seen these before. We've seen these uh, rubbery, bendy assault rifle before with the Cobra Valkyries. Same thing. I have to say though, these do look better. Because uh because of the red deco. So that's a bonus. I do like that. We have a tiny little knife. This tiny little knife with a speck of black paint or chip paint, can't really tell. That's gonna sheath right into here, ladies and gents. Do like that. As I stated, if I didn't already state, uh, standard articulation for male figure. So, if you've seen the articulation for any male figure before on my channel or any other channel, it's standard, normal, for men. Let's uh, plug these back in. Because they were not holding tight. They're kind of, they're very loose and I'm afraid they're going to fall out in the future. Put that on camera. They're very loose to come right out. So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to crazy glue these in. At least here and here. So that they never come out again. At least I think that's how it's supposed to go. Is it supposed to go like that? Or is it supposed to go like this? I'm not sure. I, I think it goes like this. I mean, that's how I set up those. This back peg seems really small. But there's also other pegs. So... Yeah, it holds pretty tough. Take this off. There is articulation in the arms. There is a swivel. Let's get that right there. There's a swivel there, a hinge there, and then. Ooh, that's really cool. I like that. And then right in there, let's see if we can get some proper lighting. There's a hinge and a ball joint for swiveling. That's really cool. Here's the thing though, right here, right here there's supposed to be, there's a molded in hinge. I think they would have really benefited from making this a real hinge. But, uh, you know Hasbro, they've been doing what they want instead of what the customer wants. Okay, I'm confused, where are these supposed to go?
where are those wires supposed to go? On top, below, what's going on? This is weird. I don't know. Okay, hold on. I need to grab that. Take a look at this. Okay, taking a look at the the box art, it goes from his back and it go, it looks like it plugs into into there. And I have these things on backwards according to this the artwork. Right then, so time to pop these off, turn them that way. Have these things on completely backwards apparently. And yeah, that makes a little sense. There are tiny little peg holes in there. But that's not where it goes though. In between them, it's kind of hard to see because of my lighting. Apparently I didn't get the lighting right. But right in there, in this dark space, is a tiny little peg hole. Oh, I, need, I, I do need better lighting. If I could see it. Okay, that's working out. See, I barely touched it and it fell right out the backpack. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to crazy glue it to the backpack, but not to the side mount portions. So that's how that's supposed to go. And it does, it's supposed to go this way. Now, the bad thing that I heard... Okay, well there's that, and he's going to have to lean forward just to hold a proper pose. Let's get him on camera so you folks can see. Now here's the thing that I don't like. Are these even separate pieces, or like how did they fit these in here without, it, it doesn't make sense. The way they put these in here. Look at that. I had to warp it in order to release it from the plastic. It's ridiculous, I'll tell you what. Now the bad thing that I heard about all this is that these missiles don't fit in and they don't. What about the back way? They don't fit in that way either. They only fit in like that and that looks absolutely stupid. Absolutely stupid. But supposedly, not even supposedly, what the hell? Yeah. So, he's either firing, he's either in a constant state of firing his missiles, or he has no missiles to, fu to um, fire. That's where we're at. Everything about this figure is just really, really good, with, the ex with that exception. It's either shoot them all, or have none to shoot. Because you can't, they don't fit, where's the other ones? None of them fit. Okay, okay, okay. I spoke a little too soon. The smaller ones do fit in there. So it's not a complete bust, it just looks really funny. It, it just looks really funny and they don't, they weren't designed to sit in it like this. It's just really weird. Why didn't they make this top one big enough? I don't understand that. What were they thinking behind it? I don't get it. It's 
So this looks, this just looks funny having it sit like that. So I wasn't, I was about, I was 50% wrong. Can't stand on his own two feet. Of course not. Why would he be able to? Let's pop the other missiles out. Stick those in there. And that in there. That goes like that. Is this too big? What the hell? Damn, that was uh. Why did I have to do that? So the top missiles are always in a state of being fired off. So there's that. But we have to say, it does look good. What we got right there. What is that? 50, 50 kills on tanks, 2 kills on people. Something like that. Is that what that represents? 50 kills on vehicles or something like that? Well, I have to say, he does look good and I am impressed. But having the state of the missiles, the top missiles, always firing is, is just not acceptable. <sighs> I love G.I. Joe. I always have. I've said it many times in, in, in other videos that as a child, my go-to for playtime was always my G.I. Joes versus whatever other toys I had. I had the Wild Warriors. It was G.I. Joe versus the Wild Warriors. I had um the Inhuman Inhumanoids. It was G.I. Joe versus the Inhumanoids. Oh man, just so many. It was G.I. Joe versus um um He-Man. It, but. For some reason, I think that's the only reason, actually, as to why I'm so big on G.I. Joe, is because of the nostalgia. I think that's what it is, people. But, before we go, let's pop out all of these... Let's do that. Let's mix it up. Let's not put them all the same. And let's take a look. Damn, these things are really tight for no reason. That that that's not necessary to be so damn tight. Is it gonna be tricked out with everything? Oh, he just looks mean. He's just like, I'm locked, loaded, and ready to blow shit up. Oh, he looks, he looks mean. Yeah. That's a mean mother right there. Let's take a look at him. Just coming from all angles. Get my finger out of the damn shot. That is just... I wish I had my gun blast effects. Just toss this out the way. Yeah, he looks cool as hell. He looks cool as all hell. Absolutely. So there we have it. Metalhead. Cobra's Metalhead. Let's be very specific. 
from the Iron Grenadiers. I wonder, are they going to make a regular one for him? If they do, will they fix the issue with the missiles not being able to properly fit? Because even the small ones don't properly fit. They kind of rattle around inside the thigh um, shooters. So I wonder, if they do decide to make a regular metal head and not the Grenadier one, Will they fix that issue? Because it is, in fact, an issue. But I have to say, I do like what I have. I don't love it, but I like it very much. He's going to find his way onto this little onto this little platform I got here. You, you see, I threw up my, um, my Serpentor. And in case you haven't seen it already, we have CoverGirl. And clutch. They are working on the vamp. What are they working on the vamp for? What are they trying to install? I guess we'll see you on the next uh, episode. Or two episodes from now. But in any event people. Remember. Toys are art. Thanks for watching.